guys welcome back to a brand new video and in this video i'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a drop tools on death system okay now it's pretty simple how this works actually it's only like one script and basically what happens is you spawn in you have your tools okay i have my my sword i have my gun and as you can see if i go ahead and reset i'm going to drop my tools on depth or on depth <laughs> on death and as you can see right here boom the tools are both on the ground right there that's the gun and that's the sword and i can pick them both up if i want to obviously i do have them back but that's because they're in my shorter pack um so yeah um but anyways i can pick them up right now if i want to i'll pick it up boom i have another sword and then boom i have another gun so it works awesome it works great even if you have the tool equipped it'll still work and uh if, even if it's in the backpack it'll still work as well so now watch this it'll drop all four tools it's gonna be it's gonna be bad <laughs> uh, well let's see how this works okay and there you go Perfect. All right. Anyways, let me guys. Let me go ahead and show you guys how I do this. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and create a blank base plate, as you can see right there. And we're gonna. What we're gonna go ahead and do now is um, insert a script into our starter script service or starter. No, no. Our, to our starter character scripts. Okay. Uh, so let's insert just a regular service script into there. And then what we're gonna do is actually get some tools real quick. Well, we need to actually have some tools that we need to pick up. Or, or drop, I mean. Uh, let's get a sword, I guess. Um, and then we'll get another tool just to test it out with. Put it in the starter pack. Uh, what else do we want? Let's do an, let's do a, a rifle. There we go. Um, okay, perfect. Looks pretty cool. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and write a script. Alright, so what we're going to do first is define a few basic things like the character. So let's go ahead and get our character right here. Uh, so we'll do local characters equal to character script dot parent, and then we'll do local humanoid is equal to character dot find first child humanoid. Um, oh crap! And then we're gonna do local players equal to game dot players uh, get player from character character. So we're gonna need our player to get the backpack, and then we'll need the backpack, which is local backpacks equal to player wait for child backpack. Alrighty, there we go. And then we're gonna go ahead and make a quick little variable called had tool equipped. Okay, because so we're gonna need to know this for later on. But we're gonna do local had tool equipped is equal to false. Okay, uh, just for now. All right. Anyways, so now what we're gonna do basically is when the humanoid dies, we're going to create an event that drops the tools and sets them to the position of where we were. Now here's the only problem. Okay, um, if you don't know how tools work, okay, whenever you have a tool equipped. Right? Actually, I'll show you right now how it works. Whenever you have a tool equipped, what'll happen is you have a tool, okay? Uh, it's Now it's in the workspace. And what the? Wait, what is that? I think that's a virus. Anyways, don't worry about that. I think that's from the from this gun right here. Anyways, so as you can see here, we have this tool equipped right here, okay? It's a sword. And then we have our model, okay? And as you can see, the tool is inside of our character, right? Makes sense? Um, so that, but when we, t when we unequip it, it's now not in the character. You see, it disappears. There it is. There it's in there. Now, now it's not. So where it goes when it's unequipped, it actually goes into your backpack, which is in the player. So if you go to your players, uh, and then you go to your player, and then you go to the backpack, as you can see, the tool is right here. Okay. So if I equip the sword, as you can see, it moves. It goes to our player instead of our backpack. And if I unequip it, back to the backpack. Same thing with the Galil. Um, it does the same thing. So yeah. All right. Anyways, so now what we're gonna go ahead and do is um, make an event knowing that. Now here's the problem, okay? Uh, what, what I was doing before is I was doing player dot, um, actually I'll explain it later on. All right, also let me get a new, uh, let me get a new other tool because that Galil has um, some kind of weird like virus thing in it. So I'll just get a normal like pistol uh, and that'll be good. Okay, anyways, sorry about that. Okay, there we go, okay. All right, so now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna do humanoid dot died. So if I died, then we're gonna connect a function and we're going to loop through our our um, our character and see if they have a tool equipped. Okay, so we're going to do for i comma tool in pairs get children do if tool is a tool. Um, we're making sure it's a tool, obviously. Then had tool equipped is equal to true. Okay, and then what we're going to do is actually set that tool parent to um, game dot replicated storage. Now, why do we set it to workspace? You may be wondering. Well, basically, if you set it right to workspace, what'll happen is you'll actually pick up your tool even though you didn't have it equipped. It's kind of weird, but you will literally pick up your tool 
even if you didn't have an equipped or even if you're dead i'm sorry so like as you can see here if i die and i just put it back to my workspace um it'll 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 pick it up again while i'm dead so what we're going to do is actually put it in our replicated storage and then once the character actually disappears then we're going to put it back in the game so um now we're going to go ahead and do another thing down here which is going to be player.character removing so basically we're going to do player.character removing okay and uh, what this is going to do is basically when whenever um, the character was like removed so whenever like the character gets deleted from like the workspace um, that's when this event fires so then we're going to do okay so we know that then we're going to do four i comma tool uh, in pairs backpack uh, to get children where obviously we're going to get all your children or every tool in a backpack and we're going to do if tool is a tool <laughs> uh, and then we're going to do and tool uh, find first child handle this is an extra like check just to make sure the handle is in there and it actually is a good tool then we're going to do tool dot parent is equal to game dot workspace and then we're going to do tool dot handle dot c frame is equal to character dot humanoid root part dot c frame okay now it actually okay so obviously, obviously as you can see here it doesn't actually um like when this event fires the two the player is or the character is completely gone but it's about to leave um so yeah so that's why we can still set the character uh he wanted to part to where it needs to go anyways so um what's gonna ha i you know obviously we set this one up here we set it to game replicated storage but this one we set to game dot workspace now like i said we did that because if the cumanoid just dies what will happen is um it the, it'll be it'll be able to pick up tools while it's dead okay and also well, you may be wondering okay well then if we know that then why don't you just put this inside of here right why don't you just um check to see if the tools in the character inside of this event now the reason why actually, like, i actually tested this beforehand um what happens is actually when you have a tool equipped the the tool will delete out of your character before your character disappears so let me actually show you real quick so i have a sword on right now okay and i have my character right here now as you can see here there's the classic sword and if I go ahead and remove, oh wait, actually, let me go ahead and print something out. So let me actually go ahead and print uh, humanoid died. And then I'm going to go ahead and print right here, uh, character removed, okay? Just so I can show you what uh, when these events actually call. Um, and so I tested this before, and I wanted to make sure it was perfect, right? Um, <laughs> so let me show you what I did, okay? So as you can see here, I have a workspace, I have my tool, okay? And if I go ahead and reset, my humanoid will die, right? So let's reset real quick, I have a tool equipped right it's in my character all right reset humanoid died okay but the character's not removed yet but as you can see the tool is gone the tool is literally gone it's nowhere to be found and as you can see now it's his character removed once i respawn so as you can see like if you have the tool equipped and you die right if you have a tool equipped and you die it'll disappear before before the character removes so we can't just like get that tool right here because it wouldn't exist it would already be gone by the time the character removed so that's why we have to do that uh and that's why we put it in the replicator storage just so we can move it right back to the workspace whenever the character is gone all right so yeah all right and then we're going to do down here we're going to do if had tool equipped is equal to true then local equipped tool is equal to game dot replicator storage find first child of class um, and actually, we could do either one of these, I guess. Or no, okay. Find first child of class tool, okay. And then we're gonna do equipped tool dot parent is equal to game dot workspace. And then we're gonna do equipped tool dot handle dot c frame is equal to character dot humanoid root part dot c frame. And there we go. As you can see here, it should work just fine now. And if you have a bunch of people in your game and you um, are having like a bunch of people people dying at the same time, you're probably gonna want to switch this around a little bit um, because uh, the player's tool won't go directly there. So I'd maybe make a folder for each player, or you can make a table and then define it. Um, but yeah, for this example, we don't really need that. Anyways, so let me go ahead and reset real quick. And as you can see here, I reset. The tool's gone. Uh, I still have this tool, right? As you can see. I can still equip it too, which is kind of weird. But as you can see, they're both there, and I oh, actually I picked them both up. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it does work just fine. So the script works just fine. That's how it works. Pretty simple. Um, not much to it really. That's just the whole script. So yeah. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like always, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more awesome Roblox script and tutorials like this in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And actually, one more quick thing too. Um, I have this uh, investor form you guys fill out right now if you want to. Links in the description below. If you guys need funding for your game or, um, you know, 
you need money for ads or whatever, then uh, there's a semester formed in the description below. Fill that out if you need someone to fund your game. And also, make sure to join the Discord server, guys. The Discord server is awesome. You guys are all in there and super active, so I appreciate it. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.